with ingenuity out of service, planning safe routes for perseverance must rely on high-resolution images taken from orbit. But after weeks of struggling, it's becoming clear that those images can conceal incredibly treacherous terrain. On this episode of Mars Guy, the hazard avoidance system used to safely land Perseverance recognized that the terrain, later named CETA, was a hazard to avoid. The system diverted away from CETA in the direction it was already drifting, which meant that Perseverance landed on the edge of CETA opposite the delta deposit that it came here to explore. And once on the ground, the team decided that the terrain named with the Navajo word for amongst the sand was indeed impassable. That's because the image from the most powerful camera ever sent to Mars showed a mix of rocky ridges and sand ripples that made CETA a keep-out zone for perseverance, although Ingenuity showed off its mobility advantage by flying over it. High-rise images have been key for selecting safe routes for perseverance. When it came time to drive around CETA to get to the delta, high-rise reliably showed that what looked safe from its vantage point was safe on the ground. Sticking to the smoothest looking terrain led to long, easy drives. Never mind that also meant terrain as dull as a parking lot, as shown with Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance had to tangle with some large sand ripples guarding the rocks at the delta front, but it was mostly smooth sailing across much of the delta top, even though it turned out to host the much coarser deposits of an alluvial fan. In places, that meant dodging cobbles and boulders delivered by ancient raging rivers. Buried beneath the alluvial deposits is an even older terrain, probably altered by water at the shore of ancient Lake Jezero, leaving rocks rich in carbonate minerals. It bears a notable resemblance to the terrain of Sita, so it's perhaps not surprising that it's challenging to navigate. This is why Perseverance is managing drives of only a few tens of meters instead of a few hundred meters. But you can't tell from this image just how gnarly the terrain is on the ground. High-rise can resolve individual boulders about a half meter in size, but this landscape is packed with rocks just below that size and many that aren't tall enough to create resolvable shadows visible to high-rise. It doesn't help that Perseverance is skirting the edge of Noretva Vallis, the river channel that cut through the rim of Jezero Crater billions of years ago. Avoiding the edge seems to be pushing Perseverance to hug the low, even rockier ridges. Among these rocks, Perseverance recently made a fortuitous stop by one that shows what may be the best example of an eroded coating. They've been observed since the beginning of the mission, which I've presented repeatedly, most recently in episode 143. These tattered coatings may be relics of a former climate that brought a bit of frost or snow to these parts. The path ahead looks about the same as the one behind, which means slow going. But at least now we know from ground truth that the seemingly benign orbital view of terrain like this is not. <laughs>